hi guys welcome back to the channel the last couple of weeks have been very busy oh, it all started with us needing some supplies to fix the door downstairs to actually change the door downstairs so we headed off to a new hardware store that we found and we were able to get a lot more things than before we were supposed to get someone to fix the door or to install a new door but the person never turned up and then we called someone else to get a quote and they were going to charge too much so after waiting for months and months Aiden, Aiden decided that he was going to do it himself you do <laughs> what are you doing? I didn't take it. Mm. Yeah, this is my favorite cake now. This? Mm. What cake do they have? They didn't have much, you said. <laughs> Not much left. Cheesecake. I wish I could have a fork left. Ah. This is a spoon under there. Mm. Yeah. So No sharing today. This is our new back door, which we purchased very cheaply, almost like a gift, <laughs> from a great friend that we have back in Abruzzo. Um, fixing and installing these doors for someone without experience is um, <coughs> quite hard because all the, the measurements of the frame are not the same. So you may have one end with less centimeters than the other end, or the top and bottom don't quite fit mm, the same as you would in a normal house. So uh, it's quite um, challenging to get it done. At least it swings. <laughs> <laughs> It even has a peephole. Hey. Close it. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me? Oh, yeah. uh. I know you're just showing off. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, after having put the door together with all the difficulties that you had, will you do it yourself again? 100%. <laughs> I would have done it earlier. You wouldn't have waited around. I wouldn't have waited for someone else because in the end, I really learned a lot and I had so much fun doing it. It was really difficult, but I loved it. film this situation.
I am happy to report that now the door is watertight and um, we have put a coat of varnish over it. We have closed a hole that was here um, and we intend to get um, a ferro, an iron or something like that, door knocker <laughs> to, um, to go on this on this place we've changed the locks we put some other security um, on the inside but now there's no more air and no more rain coming through so we we're thrilled with that and i'm super proud of aiden for doing it This is the front door, the inside of the front door, which Aiden has painted mostly. Now what, I, what I'm going to do is paint this area of um, black, black metal um, with this product, which is for ferro, which is uh, for metal. Those are the dogs of our next door neighbor. <laughs> the little one is kind of paralyzed for her, but she's beautiful. Anyway, we have lots of animal noises around here, which is beautiful. Let's get started now. Hmm. I don't know if this is actually going to happen today because I mean we haven't used this paint for a few months and it seems like it's dry but I remember before when I used it I had to it was kind of jelly um, the consistency was like jelly and I had to mix it a lot so I don't know if I'm gonna have any luck with this or um, we're gonna have to wait until we go to the hardware store because yeah I don't know I didn't think this was gonna be the case hello Wallace um, it was well sealed it was in a cool place I don't know let's see Funnily enough, I had enough paint to do most of the iron on the inside.
but to do the top iron bars uh, on the inside on the outside we certainly have to go and pick up some paint at our local hardware store which is just about five minutes down the road well we need to go and follow up Please let me know if you like the color of our door. We find that some people love it or some people hate it. Not many are in between. <laughs> so let us know what you think of it. I am in a hurry because um, my husband um, went to ask if my Italian ID card was ready. The carta d'identità. Um, and they said it is which is amazing because we've been waiting for this for quite a long time it allows you to do a lot more things um, in regards to for example purchasing a car um, being identified not having to carry your um, passport everywhere so it's um, 10 past 12 and they close at about 12 30 but the person that will give me this is in and out of the office all the time so for sure i don't i don't want to miss him because we've been a couple of times trying to find them and they haven't been there so yeah a milestone today Hold it. Here from the this is it. Ministero dell'Interno. We do a video going to the comune to show you because on the outside of the building is very pretty. And the inside is good too, it's nice and open. But um, the mayor was there, the policeman of the town was there, and another councillor was there. So it seemed like uh, they were conducting very important business there which I didn't want to disrupt by coming in with a um, gimbal and a camera and uh, being all excited mm, I think I'm still excitable uh, 
about the little things so have to keep your child your inner child alive right and the way here i was stopped by the pharmacist and a little chat with him he told me remember that we close thursdays and tuesdays in the afternoon so i didn't know that good to know know that i buy many types of medicine but it's good to know and he's a he's a friend he's a very young guy uh, if someone out there is single let me know hmm. uh, and then spoke with the girl at the cafe our favorite cafe i have to make a video there she's super nice her name is juicy she's the best she made a great call okay i'm home now keep everything Buongiorno. <laughs> Misterio dell'interno. Sì. <laughs> What is it? It's a Christmas present. Did you get a travel free card? Mm, don't think they give those here. Ta -da! <laughs> paid for two hours parking at Thermoli that was one euro and this is a car park that's on one of the sides of the um, train station I know in some countries you don't need to put the little um, piece of paper the old ticket on the window but here you still you still do and the reason why we come in to Thermoli today is because we're going to the bank to hopefully be able to make the payment for the Stufa Haleño for the wood burner that, um, that we want to buy. They don't take payment at the office and it has proven to be a bit complicated um, to make that payment. Um, so I'll explain a little bit more about it later but this is Thermoli on a Monday morning around 9.30 a.m. So as I mentioned before the business that sells the um, the wood burners and the pallet burners they don't take the money they don't take payment any kind of payment 
So they give you a form to go to the post office and pay there, or they give you a form to do it at the bank. But things are not really very straightforward here in regards to banking, which is um, very frustrating a lot of the time. We went to the post office and the person at the post office said, no, you cannot make the payment here because you don't have an account with the post office. So we had to wait for days before the lady gave us a different form to be able to make a payment with at the bank. But we were afraid that the bank wasn't going to take payment either because our branch is not here at Termoli, but our branch is at another town. And in Italy, they have this weird thing where you can only deposit money at the branch nice that you opened your bank mm. uh, at. So I don't know if this is if this is something that happens in all the banks in Italy or just in this region or just whatever it is. Keep an eye on that because it can be quite limiting on, on the way you can move your money um, when it comes to banking here. Mm. This is one of our favorite places to have coffee in uh, Termoli. Great coffee, nice pastries. The guys are super friendly. Giorno! <laughs> it already smells delicious coffee. here on the outskirts of Thermoli looking for some marble really a small piece that we need for the kitchen a couple of areas that uh, Aiden is going to um, put marble on I've been trying to find uh, to get in touch with a local guide and it's been impossible he doesn't open his shop every day no one seems to have his phone number and we've waited for months and months then someone gave us the uh, name of someone in another town about 15 minutes from where we live and we went to the bar and asked for the person and no one knows him so <laughs> it's been a, a long journey trying to get a piece of marble uh, but we're here the thermal is the first time we come to this place they seem to do quite a lot of different storms as well um, hopefully our job is not too small for them because there is always that that risk we just need a couple of pieces um, a couple of pieces so there is my husband talking with the guy hopefully Ah, oh, this feels beautiful. It's like um, it's like sandstone, but it's so soft, so smooth. I hope I'm um, I'm showing this well because it's um very bright, and I can hardly see actually where I'm walking. Not a bad place to work. You have the Adriatic Ocean there, open space, blue sky, a machine that just made a noise. <laughs> it's nice and peaceful here. Yeah. Huh, what's this color? It's got beautiful green. Today, um, the temperature, the maximum at Thermoli is going to be 24. Right now it's about 21. Super bright and sunny, it's beautiful. Okay, 
Let's see how we go. La differenza è che il marmo invecchia col tempo. Sì. All'abrasione si va a perdere quel lucido iniziale. We came again to Thermoli today to buy, to order the, the marble for the kitchen. So the other day we were um, making or taking the measurements and finding out what color we wanted, what quality and so on, um, the thickness. So we ordered it today. The man said that it should be about a week or so. So that's great that it's going to uh, uh, finish, not not quite finish the kitchen, but at least it will start the process of finishing the kitchen because it's it's a little bit and finish um, many bits and pieces there. We were we plan to do the washing here, but when I opened the boot, I couldn't see the bag, so we realized that we hadn't okay. brought the bag with the clothes, which is pretty dopey from us. Uh, we just parked, we're outside the, the train station and we're gonna be looking for a few things like blankets and um, this metal thing with a magnet or something like that to put the knives on. It's a beautiful day today. Yesterday was overcast and rainy but today it's probably 20 degrees and super sunny. Uh, another beautiful day in Thermoli. Disconnected, disconnected. Oh my god. No wonder it was smelling like that. That is true. It's like humidity and. He said that humidity. Okay. Yeah, you could, and not being used for a long time.
Been meaning to come to this um, cafe bakery for a long time. Every time we go past, we're in a hurry, it's too late, or we miss the stop. Let's have um, some coffee and pastry. It's um, a beautiful Saturday morning in autumn, and, and we are what's the time? It's about 10, about 17 degrees, but it's gorgeous. The pastry was really nice and the coffee with the touch of caramel was um, really 
yummy it was very different to what we've had here before so we will be back for sure thank you so much everyone for sticking around and watching the video um, until the end this uh, finishes this week that has been very very busy and we expect that next week is going to be just as busy because we have to pick up the marble piece we have to go drive to Abruzzo um, we have to collect our car there's lots of things that we have to do we have to go to Campo Basso I'm trying to keep up with um, the present of our lives so current uh, what's happening currently in our lives as much as the past um, in in the series uh, that I'm creating on how we decided to choose our our homes and and how the process ha it has how the process has been so i'm trying to kind of keep two paths one that is the past meeting the present and one that is pretty much only the present so that you guys um are are more abreast with what's happening and i can keep a closer connection to you so that not everything is uh, is set in uh, you know in april or may of this year i think it's probably a bit more interactive to keep both going hopefully um hopefully we all can keep up with that um so yes thank you for watching thank you very much um to our new subscribers last time i checked we were at 95 subscribers yay <laughs> hopefully we get soon to a hundred and from there we just keep growing so that we can interact with more people and that we can provide some information and inspiration to people that are thinking of making this choice and as well as um, myself understanding where you're from and and receiving all all um your comments and your love and and your encouragement which is super helpful and super heartwarming thank you again remember to like the video please comment let me know if you ended up liking the color of our front door let me know if you have some gardening tips because for sure i'm going to be looking into that very shortly and anything else that comes to mind please let us know thank you for making us feel that you are here that um, that we're not alone that you are watching and interested and have a great week and uh, yes all the best see you soon ciao